Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hustle with SPS back in the building over at East Lansing High School with the East Lansing track and field team. And I'm here with my guy and fraternity brother representing Alpha Phi Alpha. That is Octavius Long Represent That's right, my brother. You good? I'm great. Good. Thanks. It's so great to be able to have an idea and make a call, send a text and connect with someone on the other end and uh, just get the opportunity to come and highlight all the great stuff you guys are doing. Talk about uh, East Lansing track and field and what's been going on with it. Well, East Lansing track and field, we're we're on top right now, you know. Uh, Coach Brown, Coach Coach Murray, for many many years built this program uh, to a high standard. Mm -hmm. uh, the last two years, I've as the head coach, I've been able to take over and take that reign and continue to build. Mm -hmm. uh, we're building through numbers. Um, we're building with our freshmen. We have a huge freshman group this year, very talented. We double that with the sophomore class from uh, from this year that were freshmen last year. So we're building for the future. Mm -hmm. But although we're building for the future, we're ready right now as well. Yeah, um, talking to the diverse group of student athletes you have, uh, let's talk about Jace Clarizio. I mean, his name was ringing throughout football season. He's always been the track guy. Pretty much got yeah. the whole Big Ten, uh, you know, uh, giving him support. What does it mean to have an athlete like him as part of your team right now? You know, it means a lot. It means a lot, uh, you know, for the team and him personally. Uh, you know, for one, you know, the, the other kids on the team, they see that uh, a, a player or a young man of his caliber that's out here putting in the work every day mm -hmm. and sacrificing. Mm, helps you, you out know, a lot, doesn't to, it? To help the program, for the benefit of the program. Mm -hmm. But not only uh, does it help the program, but it helps him individually. Uh, you know, as a running back, a skill position, if you want to play the next level, coaches want to know how fast are you? Can you run? Mm -hmm. And by him being able to be out here and actually post uh, great times that just legitimizes everything on the football mm -hmm. field from a, from a speed standpoint. Yeah, that's great. And also, he's kind of had like a under the radar type of career because I can remember from football season, yep. sophomore year, hearing his name early on. It's just been sure, building. Sure. Have you seen this kind of rise? Oh, definitely. I've seen the rise, but I've seen the hard work. He's mm -hmm. committed. He's committed himself to uh, in the classroom and on the football field and on the track now, but. You know, he has everything that he's earned, everything that he's getting, the recognition, he's earned it. Yeah. And he's doing it the right way. Yeah, I get it. Then you look on the on the young lady side, you have uh, individuals Absolutely. I was impressed with, like Gabby, yes. Amelia, yes. these impressive young ladies. Talk about having young ladies like that as part of this it, team. You know, it's huge. And, and those young ladies that you mentioned, they're all a part of our Trojan Athletics uh, summer AAU track program. Mm. And they've been a part of that program for five, six, seven years now. Uh, so that's the core and the base in the summer. Uh, where we work on some uh, some specific things that they take into the fall. Coach, how important the is the summer? And I, and I say that it, to say, you're going to say it's important. And people say, you just want us to be there, but how important no. is it to get that summer work? No, in? the summer work is essential. It is definitely essential. Um, a lot of times, because of the weather, for one, in Michigan, uh, throughout the spring, we're dealing with weather issues. It may be 70 for one track, but the next day it may be 40. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot I'm of glad times we came kids, today to talk. That's right. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of times the kids are restricted. But the summer presents a different opportunity in terms of the weather and the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, when in summer track at AAU, you travel all over the state and all over the country, so you're exposed to the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Those that run summer track, participate in track and field the summer, those are one-on-one. -on -one. They want to be there. Mm -hmm. They want to get better, mm -hmm. and they're dedicated to the sport. So it just, the competition alone is going to make you better. So can you make a simple correlation that between uh, summer work, you can equate that to success, beyond what it normally would be when the uh, season rolls around? Yeah, I, I can attest to uh, one of the young ladies that you interviewed today, Amelia Beal, mm -hmm. a senior who uh, last year was running a minute, two seconds in the uh, 400. Mm. Um, she worked with us over the summer, lots of speed work, lots of uh, interval workouts, lots of core work. Um, she she doubled out. She she took that that work from the summer, that speed work into the fall, into the weight room, and this past indoor season she ran 59 in the 400. Mm -hmm. So she's dropped three seconds, and because of that, she has wow. several uh, several college uh, uh, universities and colleges that are recruiting her. She has Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three. That's III. outstanding. So she's put herself in a position to be recruitable mm -hmm. because of the hard work that she's put in. That helps a lot. You know, we talked off camera about a number of the issues facing athletes today. At one point, it was just collegiate athletes dealing with NIL, dealing with the portal, obviously, and mental health. But now, yeah. legislation is working its way through that I'm involved in for high school NIL. There are 30 states that have it. Sure. Michigan is sure. coming on board. You know about the portal for so many of your athletes, the collegiate athletes, That's and of right. course, mental health. So That's when right. we talk about those three subjects, Coach, 
Talk about what it means having to address those right now. Yeah, it's tough, but it's, a, it's the old adage, you know, it takes a village. You know, the support systems that, that kids need is the thing that's going to put them over the top. Mm-hmm. Uh, kids nowadays, and I'll be honest, they're dealing with different adversities and different stressors um, that, that kids in my day didn't deal with. Sure, sure. Uh, with social media and now with NIL and those that are in college dealing with the transfer portal, uh, it's a whole different ball game now. But from a mental standpoint, they have to be grounded. Mm. They have to not understand the whys, and they have to look at the big picture. A lot of times, uh, you know, kids nowadays, they're social media driven. It's all about right now, right now, right now. But you have to look at the big picture Mm -hmm. uh, and be willing to understand that you're going to have some adversities. And when you do have those adversities, you know, you have to stand strong, Mm -hmm. rest on your morals, rest on your values. You got to be steadfast. Yeah, if I can remember, and it just seems like that collegiate transition age is when those real world issues start to hit. And yes. no, it's not the end of the world. You and I know that, but they have those first sets of issues and people Absolutely. like yourself, I would imagine, become important. You get a lot of them phone calls. From- I get, I still get the phone calls. I still get the phone calls. I still get a lot of kids dropping in. They come in. They come and practice with us in the winter. Now that's good because kids oh, who don't like when they say I'm going, I'm going. They'll be gone. But yeah, the fact that they right. want to come back. Oh no, a lot they're, about they're, you they're coming back. They're, they're definitely coming back, and we we embrace them and we welcome them back mm. uh, because we know, uh, just like as a as a parent, your job isn't done when a kid graduates mm. and goes on after they're 18. You're a parent all of your life. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a coach all of my life, so I expect that those kids will continue to to come back and whatever they need, we're gonna to try to provide it for them mm-hmm. and guide them. Uh, because just because they're no longer in the program doesn't mean that, that we love them any less. Yeah, that sounds great. Not only from the benefit of what a student athlete can get by being here at East Lansing High School, yes. the school, the program, but the resource it is after the fact. Uh, yeah, Coach, you're doing an outstanding job. Any special shout outs you wanna give before we let you go? Oh, just a shout out to all the supporters, all the supporters. Uh, we have a great, great uh, group of, of parents that support this program. Uh, we had we started something last year called the Fueling Station. Mm-hmm. And I got this, my son plays uh, play football at the University of Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And I, so I go down the, I used to go down there last go year cats. a lot. That's right. We don't want to talk about basketball, yeah. though, right? No, no, basketball is <laughs> a different story. <laughs> they over there, they story. bad about somebody So I noticed there. one thing in practice, they, they take breaks within the practice and they eat. They have snacks and fruit uh-huh. and granola bars and Michigan mm-hmm. State's doing the same thing so we thought that you know it'd be a good idea because research shows that if the kids are fueling themselves while they're depleting their their uh, their energy on the field it's going to make them sustain longer and mm. avoid injuries mm-hmm. so we started a fueling station last year shout out to uh, mother uh, uh, Toya Pruitt who actually was uh, the spearhead behind that fueling mm-hmm. station but uh, you'd, be, you'd be surprised. We have a garage full of snacks and treats ready and water go, huh? and everything ready to go for the kids. So well, that's great. Another thank thing. you all, all your parents for for the supporters. Um, and you know, we have a couple home meets. This is something new because we haven't had a lot of home meets here in East Lansing with the construction of the field here. But on uh, Tuesday, April 30th, uh, we're gonna have, we'll be home against Holtz. And we're actually going to have senior day festivities that really? day. Really? Okay. At, we've, East Lansing has never had senior day for track and field, okay. but we're going to have it this year. On the 30th of April, right here in the stadium uh, during our track meet versus Holt. And then we'll couple that the following day. We'll have a, a freshman sophomore invitational here uh, for all the freshman sophomores in the conference here. So with that being said, this is Lindsay House with SPS, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. I got the word.